Yeah. Later, everybody. Um, it's about 18 after 12 on a Monday morning, and I'm sitting here in my bathroom. And, uh, you know, I'm a recent college graduate. There's probably there's a lot of people sitting in their bathrooms on Monday morning who are recent college graduates. And um, there's probably a lot of people wondering why anybody be making a video like this. Well, uh, I'm here to tell you that despite the fact here, here in America, the land of opportunity, if you go to school and you do the four-year thing and you get a bachelor's degree, you're not guaranteed success. I think this is becoming a, a quite noticeable reality uh, amongst a, a lot of young people these days, considering how many of us who are out of school, uh, have been out of school for a while, are accumulating debt, uh, still don't have a real job, and are sort of wondering, you know, what the hell the world is going to look like in 10 years, and where are we going to be? Uh, I'm perhaps an exception in this case, and I'm here to sort of tell you my story, is that I was one of those lucky few that was able to actually make it through school without accumulating any kind of debt, or having to tag out loans or whatever, and I'll tell you how I did that. In part, it was my parents and their foresight or wisdom or whatever you want to call it, and I guess my willingness to put up with uh, losing the college experience, whatever that means. Uh, I was lucky enough that my parents started the college fund for me the year I was born, but unfortunately it still wasn't enough to pay for four years of school, so what I did was went to a community college for two years, accumulated 60 credits at the cost of about $4,000 which is really unheard of or just really insane when you compare it to the price of, well, an education anywhere else, and then transferred those 60 credits into a regular four-year institution and graduated uh, using the money in that college fund. So I was able to graduate with a degree and no debt. So I sort of feel like a soldier who went to war and made it out unscathed, and I'm here to tell my story about, you know, Perhaps there's some alternatives. For those people out there who are maybe in high school or considering going to school, but you're not sure, I wish somebody would have sat me down at, you know, when I was a junior or senior in high school and said that, hey, what do you want to do when you graduate? And most people don't know, really. No kid should know at that age. And what do you say? Well, you say, well, I want to go to college. I wish the guidance counselor would have sat me down and said, hey, look, maybe that's not the best way for you to go. Maybe there's an alternative. Okay? Just planting that seed in somebody's mind can make a big, big difference. Because the problem nowadays is, despite the fact that thousands of people go to college and graduate and don't have jobs and accumulating debt, we're still telling kids that the only way to be successful in this world is to get a higher education. Okay, maybe that's not the way to go. All right, and now, for all you naysayers out there, all you younger people who are maybe still in school and you you know, you know you have all your principles and ideals, it's like, yeah, I'm really going to make that English major work for me. I really hope you do, okay? I really fucking hope you do because you will be one of those rare exceptions that can maybe change some minds. But the, for the rest of you, you can't fucking eat your ideals, okay? Your principles aren't going to put money on your table, all right? There comes to a point where you have to be practical and you have to understand that sometimes you're going to have to do whatever it is you need to do to get by and it ain't always going to jive with what you want to do. And the problem with college is it tricks kids into thinking from the very beginning that what they're doing is good and what they're doing is going to give them everything that they want in life. And it's a hard and stark reality when that you get on that graduation stage or whatever and you get that diploma and a year down the road you're not any different than you were the day you got that diploma. Okay, and thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people are coming to that conclusion and seeing that for what it is. And I think that's a good thing. Now, I'm not saying that people shouldn't go to school. Okay, I think an education is an important thing. I did it. Okay, and I think it was extremely beneficial to me. But the point is, you have thousands of people going to school, getting liberal arts degrees, whatever, what have you, and graduating with no employment potential whatsoever with no marketable skills and these people graduate with a mortgage payment but no house. I mean do you see how bizarre that world is that there are kids uh, 20, 21, 22 years old that are in the hole a hundred thousand dollars. It doesn't need to be this way. Okay? All I'm saying is if you want to go to school make sure you're going for the right reasons. For the love of God for, the, for how much it costs these days, you, 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 
that that is is got to be the most monumental decision you can possibly make. And the problem is, 18, 19 year old kids when they're getting out of high school are just not capable of understanding the concept of $100,000 or $50,000 or even $20,000. I firmly believe that you really don't understand the concept of money or amount of money until you've made that amount of money or until you've had that in your hand or if you had to dealt in transactions dealing with that kind of money. Because until you've actually seen it or dealt with it, it's a fantasy to you. It's just numbers. And that's all it is to these kids going into college. It's just numbers on a page, on a piece of paper, or on a bank statement. They don't understand what those numbers mean until you know the, the, the piper comes calling and wants his due. And the problem is we have thousands and thousands of kids going through this who have no idea how to pay the piper when he comes calling. So my advice to you is if you want to go to school, go for the right reasons. If you're even hesitant about going to school, Seriously consider another option. Consider a trade. Consider something useful, okay? Uh, consider be a mechanic, be a plumber. There's nothing fucking wrong with that. Be a bricklayer, okay? The, the, one of the biggest shames that we have in this country right now is the fact that so many of us say that no matter what, you need a college education to be successful. Okay, well guess what? The guy who built the apartment I'm living in right now probably didn't have a college education, but he probably was an apprentice to a bricklayer which gave him the skills to build this building. Okay, that was good. That was a good thing he didn't go to college because if he would have gone to college, there wouldn't have been per se a bricklayer to build my house. Okay, I know that may be a little bit of a ridiculous argument you can poke holes in, but whatever. But you understand the point is that when you when you go to school and you do and you put in those four years and you're really not sure if you want to do it, you could have spent those four years doing something else, and you could have saved yourself a lot of time, money, and frustration. So this is for those people who are maybe confused about going, who are in right now or not sure. Just please reconsider your options. Just do it. Think about it. Because it can save you a lot of time, a lot of frustration in the future. And who knows? It could be the best decision you ever made.